so dark out here. 5.41. Let's do it. The athletic facility here opens at 6. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm warming up here outside. Let's go. and this is a day in a life at Rose Holman. This is the first day of class here at Rose Holman for uh, 2022 fall. My first class will be a Spanish class at 8 a.m. That's why I came so early to the SRC, the Sports and Recreation Center, to do my workout because I feel like it's the best way to do that. Just waking up very, very early and getting it done before class so that I have the rest of the day free for me to focus on the activities I need to do for classes, homework and studying, reading, and, and also time available for my tennis practices. I'm heading to my dorm right now. I'll take a shower, I'll change, and I'll go to breakfast and then directly to class. It's almost seven and I'm so excited. I did some agility and pyrometric stuff, and let's go. I honestly feel like this is the best way that can work out for me because I feel so energized after I'm done with the workout, even if it's lifting weights or doing cardio or doing agility stuff like I did today. And I feel like this is the best way for me to be alert and instead of being rather than being sleepy at class. So I'm headed to breakfast right now. Let's see what I'll get there. It's 7.13 and I need to be in class at 8. Let's go. Today I had classes from 8 to 11. I had Spanish, Calculus 1 and Physics 1. Uh, mostly boring because we didn't get to do many things yet. Uh, the professors were mainly explaining what the class is going to be like for this quarter. So, But even though it was just the first day of classes, uh, I still have a lot to do for tomorrow. Uh, some homeworks, some things that I need to get uh, fixed in order to be able to take those classes. And I can, uh, I can already see that it will be a lot of work. And for the Spanish class, I'm taking Spanish 1. Um, and since I'm from Brazil and my first language is Portuguese, I feel like this class may be way too easy for me. And the professor said this class is for people who are having first contact with the Spanish language. And since I did take one year of Spanish in high school, I'll try to test out of the class I need to take the test today. It's an online test. It will last from 20 to 30 minutes. And I'll figure that out. And if that's the case, maybe I won't have classes at 8 a.m. anymore. Uh, still need to figure out what has to be done. I may even end up not uh, testing out of the class if I don't do well enough on the placement test. But still I'll try to do that because it seems like the class will be way too easy for me. So I'll be doing that now. I'll try to do all the homework that I got uh, now as well. Take care of some things that I need to do here in the room. Uh, wash some dishes and stuff. And then I have class again at 2. Uh, it's a graphical communications class, Graphcom, and let's see how that goes. During this time here, the dorm, I was able to figure out everything I need to do, organize myself for the next day, and 
it is already crazy. I already so much to do, right? I was able to organize and figure out everything that I need to get done before tomorrow. And now I'm headed to get some Amazon packages that just arrived to me. And after that, I'll get everything ready for practice, which will be at 5.15. And, and I have a class from 2 to 5. So I'll be going to the class, coming back from the room, getting my tennis bag with my rackets and clothes and towels and everything that I need, head to the tennis courts. Then I'll have a physical test to be able to participate in the tennis team. And later on, I'll have a meeting with my Spanish professor so that I can figure out what uh, Spanish class will be best for me, either Spanish 1 or Spanish 2. Let's go! I just made it here to the courts. We'll be hitting for about an hour till we get dinner and then we'll have the physical test I talked about. Andrew's going to our room because he will take a shower before the physical test. I don't know if I can do that because I have the meeting with the Spanish professor. So I'll have to get dinner before I go to the physical test. And they will be in just 20 minutes so I'm gonna hurry up, make it fast to dinner and go there. Let's go. I just had my dinner and I wanted to make a little reflection here about the process I'm going through right now and the feelings I'm, have, I'm having after first day of classes. After my first classes today I was already feeling a bit stressed out because we already have a lot of homework to do for next week and when you actually think about it and you take your time to organize the areas of your life you, you give value to, the projects you're working on and the tasks associated with those projects. You usually realize that the stress you're having is mostly out of a problem you're making up, out of a situation that isn't really a problem at all. I'll expand on that later because now I have my physical tests. Hey Austin, so how long have you been here? Like an hour. Just standing in line for an hour. <laughs> this took way too long. I've been here for two hours. What I was trying to say before. Most of the times, if you feel like you have way too much to do and you're stressed out about it, it's probably because you're anticipating the amount of stuff you have to do and not actually focusing on what you can do at the moment. So if you sit down and figure out exactly what needs to be done and how long it will take to do those things, you'll be actually able to prioritize and figure out what can be done in a day, what has to be left for another day, what are the actual steps that you have to take in order to complete the things you need to, you need to do. So that's what I'll do today. I'll sit down, see exactly what I have for homework, see exactly what things I need to do, before class tomorrow, before class next week, 
And once I have an understanding of everything, I'll be able to plan ahead of what my day will look like tomorrow, what my weekend will look like, because it's Thursday, so that I can have a successful week starting next Monday. So I guess this is it for today. It's almost 10 already. Time to go to bed if I wanna keep this 5.30 a.m. thing going and see if that will work out for me in the long term. Uh, tomorrow will be a much easier day. I only have classes from 8 to 11. Still, I have so many things to figure out uh, to start all the classes, like downloading softwares, getting textbooks and materials that I need, uh, and also starting the homeworks. And, and so, there's a lot of things, but I'm trying to get everything organized here. And a uh, Notion account that I'm creating. I'm still. Wait a second. I'm still trying to figure out how to use the Notion app. And, but I'm trying to get everything organized. And if I can put all those things down, either on a notebook or in the digital, digital space like Notion, I can feel like I'm on top of everything and that everything will take will be taken care of as soon as I have the time for it and as soon as it becomes the priority for the moment. So that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. Uh, subscribe if you aren't already and stay tuned for the next ones.